How to Draw Draperies and Folds by Alexander Rishkin. If an artist thinks that he or she can draw a human figure, and therefore it is easy to draw a draped one, it is not so. Drawing draped models comes after drawing nudes in leading art academies of the world. Drawing draperies has its own rules and philosophy. It is not about folds and wrinkles. It's about the objects concealed by those draperies. Drawing what you know is especially important here. If an artist draws what one sees, folds on a model, for example, and this model moves or takes a break, the wrinkles will change, and such an artist will face major difficulties without proper understanding of constructive drawing principles and rules of formation of folds. Models will move and folds will change. This should not influence the quality of your work. There is a way of keeping folds in place. Some artists, especially in the past, used to dress mannequins in the costumes of a sitter and draw or paint the clothes for as long as required to complete the job. This way, all folds would remain unchanged and every small detail could be meticulously studied. The old masters used to employ such an approach when models were not available for a long time of posing. An intermediate artist often understands quite well how to draw a nude model, but may have major difficulties when it comes to portraying clothed models. Why does this happen? This is because drawing draperies requires not only depiction of wrinkles and folds, but above all, by means of drawing folds, portraying the human body volumes that supports the fabric. When done well, a drawing of a draped figure only suggests rather than fully describes human flesh. Such an artwork might look even more attractive because a viewer would have some freedom to imagine what forms those draperies cover. This makes a viewer a co-author in the process of understanding an artwork. That is why artworks executed in a photorealistic manner often look boring and uncreative. A true work of genius may have only a few lines, but an artist's mastery can make it great in the eyes of a viewer who also takes part in the process of creation when looking at such a masterpiece. So, sometimes suggestions in drawing are more important than photorealistic rendering. The old masters knew this very well and used this principle to full advantage. That is why you see so many draperies with complicated folds in their artworks. Sometimes, draperies were used as objects in their own right in masterpieces by the old masters. This was not only for decoration, but also for creating a mood, portraying the wealth and sophistication of the sitters. You may know the old story about two ancient Greek artists who had an argument about which one was the better artist. They decided to resolve the argument by making the best works they could possibly produce. One artist portrayed a youth who was holding a cluster of grapes. This work was so beautiful that a bird landed on it trying to eat the grapes. The other artist brought a painting covered by a drapery. The first artist asked him to unveil the work. This is the work, replied the author. The drapery painter was nominated as the winner because he could deceive an experienced artist while the first one could deceive only a bird. So, a well-rendered drapery can expose a high level of mastery in art.